This Independence Day, there's a new addition to the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library, a gold celebration of another 80s icon from California. The United States sending a woman into space was a very important event for at least 53% of the population, and I'm very proud of that. In 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman and the first acknowledged gay astronaut to travel to space, although her sexuality was not made public until after her death in July of 2012. She's a valley girl at heart. Yeah, spot Who on. Knew? I know, right? <laughs> Unveiled today, a replica of Sally now overlooks California's Simi Valley. Oh, wow. Her niece Kate joined us for a sneak peek. I want the world to see what she represents, which is equality and inclusion. Sally Ride's legacy, motivating girls and young women to pursue careers in science and technology, living on in her namesake school in Los Angeles. She was the first woman who went to space and she was brave. It's pretty cool because mostly boys go to the space. She inspired me by um, going to space because I want to be an astronaut. But, like, I really want to be an astronaut. Yeah? And she paved the way for that. Yeah. <laughs> to see that the impact is remaining, it fills my heart. A famous quote of hers is, you can't be what you can't see. You can become whatever you want to become. Whatever you see in yourself, go, go reach for it. Challenge yourself discover what is meant for you and create a better world because of that. Erin McLaughlin, NBC News, Simi Valley, California. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.